When we read the Bible, we think that Israel is this desert place, yellow sand, rocks, the Dead Sea, maybe the Mediterranean Ocean, and that's all true. But what a few of us know that Israel is no stranger to snowstorms, especially if you live up north on Mount Hermon. And this is what we're going to explore today. It's winter and it's time for snow. Yes, here in Israel. So we are heading to the most north point of the country to experience our first snowstorm in Israel's only ski resort, the ski resort of Mount Hermon. Yossi and I have actually been to Mount Hermon last fall and we hiked to its peak. If you haven't seen this video, we highly recommend it as it paints a good picture of how this place looks like the majority of the year without snow. However, today we heard that there is going to be a snowstorm, so we decided to use this awesome opportunity to film it. And as a bonus, we're joined by my dad and mom, who have been living in Israel for almost 30 years, but had never been to Mount Hermon before. So the Mount of Hermon is actually much larger than what we're going to see today because it extends all the way to Syria and Israel owns uh, just a very small part of it. And uh, the part that it owns is actually controlled by the military because it's right at the border with Syria. So it has some high tension and there's only one road to get to the snow, one road to get to the ski resort. And that road has a gate at the very beginning of it. And the latest entry is 3 p.m. So if we don't make it before 3 p.m., you can't enter, you can't see the snow, even if you've driven all the way from Beersheba for four hours, which happened to us before. There it is. There's the gate. That's it. So see, it's a big giant gate. It just closes at 3 p.m. All right, perfect. So it's 1 p.m. We made it before closing time of this big yellow gate, which is the military area, but also a ski resort. Probably the only country in the world where the two are combined. <gasps> There's the snow! Snow! I'm looking at the thermometer in the car and it keeps dropping. It went from 19 degrees Celsius to seven now, and it keeps dropping a degree every few hundred feet. It just keeps dropping. All right, so here we are. We're at the entrance to the ski park or the resort, and we actually got to pay. It's about $10, 30 something shekels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're through and it costs $12, but if you are on pension, you get a five shekel discount. Oh, I think he wants us to park right there. Yeah, that's, that's the spot. We're here. We're here. So beautiful, wonderful. time you've been here? I don't know, with a school trip and um, maybe middle school. Wow, that's like uh, 20 eight, years ago. Yeah, I don't remember much. <laughs> I remember snow, that's it. And uh, using the sled down. Like, wow. That's it. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a wow. long while. Wow, we're getting into the uh, Arafel. Yeah. What is that? Uh, it's a uh, fog. fog. Getting into the fog. Like, and it's getting really, really cold and chilly on the feet. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh my. Yeah. Amala. <laughs> Amala. 
people just say the random thing. <laughs> so there's an ancient Roman road that goes all the way to Damascus and it goes right around Mount Hermon, this mountain. And so anybody traveling the, you know, the Holy needs to do trading and so the Romans are traveling that road would have seen the peaks of Mount Hermon if it would go in the winter, the snowy white peaks. Yeah. So what's interesting is that Dan, Tell Dan is not too far from here and we filmed about it and there's a Canaanite gate that goes all the way to the times of Abraham. Abraham going there, Tell Dan is right here, he would have seen the peaks of this mountain. If it was winter, he would have seen the snow. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Cold. It's really cold. It's oh my. Freezing cold. It's getting colder. <laughs> it's getting freezing. It's so windy. It's not even funny here. What is the temperature out here? Okay, this is not fun. <laughs> Why did we go here? It was perfectly fine at the bottom. Oh, I see a Wow, you just see white a little bit. Oh, there's a military guy. No, no. Why are there soldiers in a ski resort? Well, the answer is because we're in Israel. As much as this is a ski resort, this is also on the border with Syria, and it's a military army base. So you put some soldiers around you. Is it cold? <laughs> It is hard to associate the Middle East with snow. And yet, it is mentioned in the Bible by King David, Solomon, Prophet Jeremiah, and even God himself, when he spoke through the prophet Isaiah and told his children Israel to turn back from their disobedient ways. And despite their sinful state being at its deepest, God still promised them that even though your sins are as red as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. This symbolism was not too difficult to understand for the people living here two and a half thousand years ago, as they could look up to this mountain and see the blankets of snow covering its peaks. I don't feel my toes, I don't feel my fingers, I don't feel my knees, I don't feel my nose, but I see a bit. <laughs> it's time to talk about the skiing slopes. This ski resort has a total of 45 kilometers or 28 miles of trails with the longest run of three and a half kilometers. That is a two mile long skiing experience. Of course, it's not the Pic Blanc of France with a 10 mile run or Mount Aspen, Colorado with a three and a half mile slope. However, Hermon is located in the Middle East, so the two-mile slope is very impressive and on par with most of the world's ski resorts. In fact, two of the trails at Mount Hermon are recognized by the International Ski Federation for Olympic-level races. Whoa! Uh, 
adult full equipment, 150 shekels. Does that include everything? Yeah. This time, we didn't rent the equipment and we didn't go skiing. However, if you wish for us to come back here again and review the slopes as we hold on to our dear lives, please let us know in the comment section below. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> if you thought snow doesn't exist in Israel, there you go. It's humid, it's windy, it's freezing. I can't feel my legs. Oh, you know who we should bring here next time? Fifi! There won't be a next time. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we're in Mount Hermon, the northest point of Israel. We're going to start here <laughs> and try to attempt to make it all the way to the Dead Sea within five hours and drive through five different ecosystems. So we're gonna put a timer and gonna set it on five hours and see if we can actually make it within five hours. Seeing all the scenery, making stops, food and everything. So you're up for the challenge. Keep watching this video.